we will discuss the mean terms at the max terms. First, we will discuss the mean terms. A mean terms denoted by small m of i, that means i is the subscripts of m, and is a product of n variables, where each variable is complemented if it is assigned to 0 and i varies from 0 to n less than 2 to the power of n. That means in the, if there are 3 variables, that means i varies from 0 to 7 because 2 to the power n is 8. Therefore, it should vary from, in the case of a 3 variables, it should vary from 0 to 7 and in case of a 4 variables, it should vary from 0 to 15. Now, let us take a Boolean functions of three variables and we have shown here a three variable Boolean functions and the truth table of this is this and if we notice here we have plotted it is the, this is the variables and this is the output of a particular Boolean functions and this is the mean terms and we, and we kept a column for mean terms and if we can see that all the mean terms are the product of three variables but wherever a particular variable assigned to 0, that is becoming complemented. And here in the first row, A, B, C, all the three have been assigned to 0. Therefore, all three has been complemented, then product has been taken. And in the case of a second row, the A and B are assigned to 0. Therefore, A and B has been complemented. And then the product of these three variables has been taken. In the similar way, all, all these rows is like this. As for example, you can see the M5, it is A has been assigned to 1, therefore there is for A no complement, B is assigned to 0, therefore complement to B, and C is assigned to 1, therefore no complement of C. And the product of A, then complement of B, and C. And in this, this, these are the called the mean terms. Now, this, for this particular Boolean function, these are the outputs. These are the outputs of that. Now, the, these above Boolean functions, we can express in terms of mean terms. You can see that whichever mean terms are present in this expression, that output is becoming 1. Therefore, m, this is a bar b c is present here. Therefore, it is becoming 1. Therefore, this is been, this is the m, m5 is present that is becoming 1. And this is m6 that is also 1. And that above functions, Boolean functions, we can express in terms of mean terms. And if we can express this, will, this is the we, we can write in these forms. And this is the forms, if we write, if the summation of the mean terms, we can express a particular Boolean function in the summation of the mean terms. And this is the, uh, in the ex we, we can write in these forms. That is, this, this indicates is the summation of the mean terms. If we express in this type, this type of expression is known as the sum of products. That means if the sum of products it indicate that it is, it is the sum of mean terms and and short it is known as the SOP. Now we come to the max term. Now a max term is denoted by capital M of I is a sum of n variables where each variable is complemented if assigned to 1. And we will take a function similarly in the, we will take a function and we will explain it. If we let us take these functions and, and the truth table of that above function is this. And we kept a column for max terms also. Now you can see the m0 to m7 we have because there are only three variables, therefore it will be M0, capital M0, to, it will vary up to 7. Therefore, the total 
eight max terms are there. And you can see here, if it is assigned to zero, therefore it is a summation of these variables, but there is no complement because they are assigned to zero. If it is now in the come to the second row, you can see the A has been assigned to zero, B has been assigned to zero, and C has been assigned to one. Therefore, there is a complement of C. Therefore, it is a, a plus B plus complement of C. In this way, if you take any of the rows, you can uh, just you can come to the M4. You can see A is assigned to one, B has been assigned to zero, and C has been assigned to zero. Therefore, there will be a complement of A, but not with the B and C. And the summation of these three variables, complement of A plus complement of B and complement of C, is indicate the M4. In this way, the last, we can come to the last column. You can see the, here all are three are is assigned to one. Therefore, all three are complemented and then been added. And the above Boolean functions also can be expressed in terms of a max term. For the first, first factor, you can see the first factor is indicating. You can come to, you can <coughs> come to that. This it is indicating the capital M of one. That is the max term number one, indicating. And therefore, this this is the max max term M one. This is the M two. You can see this is the M two, and this is the M4. This is the M4. You can see this is the M4. Therefore, it is the product of M1 into M2 into M4. We can write in these forms. Another interestingly, you can see here the, the output of these Boolean functions is 0. If in that functions, in the particular Boolean functions, if that max term is present, suppose here, the max term M1 is present here, M2 is present here, M4 is present here. Therefore, M1 output is 0. You can see M2 is also output is 0, and M4 is also output is 0. And this type of expressing a Boolean functions where we take the, we take the product of some sums, and this type of this type of expression is known as product of sum, and short it is known as POS. And another thing, if there is if there are already I told if there are four variables here we can we are given an example of a three variables. If there are four variables, obviously the variation should be 0, 0, 0, 0 to one 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 one. Therefore, sixteen variations will be there. And and as the very as as the variations will come, wherever the assignment will be zero, it will not be complemented. When assignment will be one, it will be complemented. Summation of all these mean terms will be that means it will vary from M naught to M fifteen in case of a four variables. And and all the max terms will be the summations of these four variables. And wherever assignment will be zero. There will be no complement where the assignment will be one. There will be complement of that particular variables. This is the. This is all about main terms and the max terms.